Hey there, food lovers and history buffs. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're taking a delicious journey back in time to explore a fascinating era of American dining. The 60s was a time of cultural revolution, iconic music, and unforgettable fashion. But it was also a golden age for restaurants. From cozy diners to upscale eateries, the culinary landscape was as diverse as it was delicious. Spin into Sonic for a carload of flavor. It's made to order when we hear from you. Welcome to Sonic. May I take your order, please? Sonic Drive-In, now simply known as Sonic, emerged in the 50s and quickly gained popularity in the 60s. Founded in 1953 by Troy Smith, the first location was in Shawnee, Oklahoma. By the 60s, Sonic had become a prominent name in the American fast food industry. During the 60s, Sonic distinguished itself with a unique drive-in model. Customers would park their cars and place orders through intercoms. Car hops, often on roller skates, delivered food directly to the vehicles. This setup was a novelty and appealed to families and young people alike, offering a fun and convenient dining experience. Sonic's menu included classic American fast food items such as burgers, hot dogs, fries, and milkshakes. The cherry limeade, introduced in the 60s, became an iconic beverage, still popular today. The brand's emphasis on variety and customization, with numerous drink combinations, set it apart from competitors. By the late 60s, Sonic had expanded significantly, with hundreds of locations across the United States. The brand's growth was fueled by a franchising model, allowing local entrepreneurs to open their own Sonic drive-ins. This expansion helped Sonic build a strong presence, particularly in the Midwest and Southern states. Chicken Delight was a well-known fast food chain in the United States during the 60s. It became famous for its fried chicken and catchy slogan, Don't cook tonight, call Chicken Delight. This chain quickly gained popularity and became a household name. Chicken Delight started in Illinois in 1952, founded by Al Tunick. By the 60s, it had expanded rapidly with over 1,000 locations across the United States and Canada. The brand was one of the first to offer home delivery service, a novel concept at the time, which contributed significantly to its rapid growth. The menu at Chicken Delight was straightforward but appealing. Fried chicken was the star of the show, but the chain also offered other items like shrimp, ribs, and various side dishes. The simplicity of the menu and the focus on quality helped attract a large customer base. The chain prided itself on providing hot, delicious food quickly, which was a big draw for busy families. The catchy slogan became a part of popular culture, and the chain used aggressive advertising to keep itself in the public eye. TV commercials, radio jingles, and print ads helped establish Chicken Delight as a major player in the fast food industry. Ponderosa Steakhouse, a staple of the 60s American dining scene, was known for its family-friendly atmosphere and affordable meals. Established in 1965, the first Ponderosa opened in Kokomo, Indiana. The restaurant quickly gained popularity due to its all-you-can-eat buffets and budget-friendly steak dinners. In the 60s, Ponderosa Steakhouse became a go-to destination for families looking for a hearty meal without breaking the bank. The menu featured a variety of steak cuts, including sirloin and ribeye, along with chicken and seafood options. Each meal came with a trip to the salad bar, which was a novel concept at the time. Ponderosa's growth was rapid. By the late 60s, the chain had expanded across the United States, with locations in nearly every state. The restaurant's success was driven by a simple formula, good food at reasonable prices. This approach resonated with the working class families who were the primary customers. One of the key features that set Ponderosa apart was its Western-themed decor. The name itself was inspired by the Ponderosa Ranch from the popular TV show Bonanza, which aired from 1959 to 1973. The restaurant's interior often featured wagon wheels, wooden beams, and cowboy-themed artwork, creating a casual and inviting atmosphere. Roll, and with crispy salad you make yourself. Rustler Steakhouse, just about the smartest stop along any dinner trail. Rustler Steakhouse was a popular dining destination in the United States during the 60s. Known for offering affordable steaks and a casual dining experience, it attracted families and budget-conscious diners. 
The chain was part of a wave of steakhouses that emerged during this decade, aiming to make steak dinners accessible to the average American. Founded by Gino Marchetti, a former NFL player for the Baltimore Colts, Rustler's Steakhouse quickly expanded across the country. The restaurants were designed to provide a no-frills dining experience, focusing on hearty meals at reasonable prices. Patrons could enjoy a variety of steaks, along with sides like baked potatoes, salads, and bread. Rustler Steakhouse distinguished itself with its straightforward approach to dining. The menu was simple, featuring items like sirloin steaks, T-bone steaks, and ribeye steaks, all cooked to order. This simplicity appealed to diners looking for a dependable meal without the high cost associated with upscale steakhouses. The chain used catchy slogans like, Steak for the Hungry Man, to draw in customers. These advertisements often highlighted the generous portions and value for money, which were key selling points for the brand. The casual setting made it a popular choice for family outings, where parents and children could enjoy a satisfying meal together. The chain's emphasis on affordability and consistency helped it build a loyal customer base during its peak years. Let's see. Hot shops, cafeterias, and restaurants. Food worth leaving home for. Hot Shops was a popular restaurant chain in the United States during the 60s. It all started in 1927, when J. Willard Marriott and his wife, Alice, opened a nine-stool root beer stand in Washington, D.C. Small venture quickly grew, and by the 60s, Hot Shops had become a well-known name in the American dining scene. Hot Shops was famous for its drive-in service and hearty American meals. People loved the burgers, fried chicken, and milkshakes. The menu also featured dishes like the Mighty Mo, a triple-decker hamburger that became a signature item. Families and friends gathered at Hot Shops for affordable and delicious food, making it a go-to spot for many. One of the interesting facts about Hot Shops is that it played a significant role in the growth of the Marriott Corporation. J. Willard Marriott's success with Hot Shops eventually led him to expand into the hotel industry, laying the foundation for what would become Marriott International. The restaurant chain was a stepping stone that helped Marriott gain experience in hospitality and customer service. In the 60s, Hot Shops locations were scattered across the East Coast and Midwest. The chain's popularity was boosted by its consistent quality and the convenience of drive-in dining, which was a novel concept at the time. Hot Shops also catered to travelers, with some locations situated along highways and in airports, making it a familiar name for many Americans. At Shakey's, you got family fun for everyone. You're something else at Shakey's. Shakey's Pizza was a popular pizza restaurant chain in the United States during the 60s. Founded by Sherwood Shakey Johnson and Ed Plummer in Sacramento, California in 1954, Shakey's quickly became a beloved spot for families and friends to gather. By the 60s, it had expanded significantly, boasting hundreds of locations across the country. Shakey's Pizza was known for its distinctive style. The restaurants featured a festive atmosphere with long communal tables, player pianos, and often live banjo music. This created a lively, family-friendly environment that set it apart from other dining options of the time. One of Shakey's key innovations was its unique business model. It combined pizza with beer, targeting both families and the college crowd. The menu was straightforward, thin crust pizza with a variety of toppings, fried chicken, and mojos, which were battered in fried potato slices. This simple yet appealing menu helped Shakey's build a loyal customer base. Shakey's used catchy slogans like, Yo Oldie Public House, and ran memorable advertising campaigns that emphasized its fun, casual dining experience. They were one of the first chains to recognize the power of television advertising, which helped drive their rapid expansion. In the 60s, Mini Pearl's Chicken was a notable name in the American fast food industry. Named after the beloved Grand Ole Opry star Mini Pearl, the chain aimed to capitalize on her popularity and the booming fast food market. Founded by John J. Hooker and investors, including Mini Pearl herself, the first restaurant opened in Nashville, Tennessee in 1966. The concept was simple. Offer Southern-style fried chicken in a fast food format similar to what Colonel Sanders was doing with KFC. Mini Pearl's Chicken had a clear branding advantage with its association with the famous comedian, known for her How D, greeting and signature flowered hat. The restaurant chain quickly expanded, opening over 500 locations across the United States within a few years. 
This rapid growth was fueled by aggressive franchising and the rising demand for convenient fast food options. However, despite the initial success, Mini Pearl's chicken faced significant challenges. By the early 70s, the chain started to decline. Franchisees began to close their stores and the company faced legal and financial challenges. Dinty Moore's was a well-known restaurant in the United States during the 60s. Named after the comic strip character Dinty Moore, the restaurant became famous for its hearty meals, especially its corned beef sandwiches. Located in New York City, it attracted a wide range of customers, from businessmen to tourists looking for a taste of classic American cuisine. The restaurant gained popularity for its generous portions and affordable prices. Dinty Moore's was particularly noted for its corned beef, which was served with a side of cabbage and potatoes. This dish quickly became a favorite among diners, establishing the restaurant as a go-to spot for comfort food in the bustling city. During the 60s, Dinty Moore's was more than just a place to eat. It was a cultural hub where people from different walks of life converged. The restaurant's welcoming atmosphere and straightforward menu appealed to a broad audience, making it a staple in New York's dining scene. By the late 70s, the appeal of Dinty Moore's began to wane. Changing dining habits and the economic pressures of running a restaurant in New York City contributed to its decline. The brand struggled to keep up with the fast-paced changes in the food industry, and eventually, the restaurant closed its doors. Home, At the Coon Chicken Inn, we aim to please. The Coon Chicken Inn was a popular restaurant chain in the USA during the 1930s to the 50s, with its peak reaching into the early 60s. Founded by Max and Lester Graham in 1925, the chain had locations in Salt Lake City, Seattle, and Portland. The restaurant was known for its fried chicken and southern-style menu. However, it was the restaurant's branding that drew the most attention. Coon Chicken Inn featured a logo of a caricatured African-American man, which was considered offensive and racist even at the time. The restaurant entrances were designed to look like the head of this caricature, with the door being the mouth. This branding was controversial and sparked significant criticism. Despite the offensive branding, Coon Chicken Inn attracted a large customer base. The chain was marketed as a family-friendly restaurant with quality food and entertainment. Advertisements boasted about their southern fried chicken and delicious hot biscuits, drawing in crowds who enjoyed hearty comfort food. The chain also provided live music and other entertainment, making it a popular spot for social gatherings. The Seattle location, in particular, became a local landmark, well known for its distinctive entrance and lively atmosphere. Tiny Nailers was a well-known drive-in restaurant chain in Southern California during the 60s. Founded by William Tiny Nailer, the chain gained popularity for its distinctive architecture, featuring sweeping googie-style designs, neon signs, and car hop service. William Naylor, nicknamed Tiny due to his large stature, opened the first Tiny Nailers in Los Angeles in the 40s. By the 60s, the chain had expanded, becoming a popular spot for families and car enthusiasts alike. The drive-in culture was at its peak, and Tiny Nailers capitalized on this trend with its efficient service and convenient locations. The menu at Tiny Nailers offered classic American fare, including hamburgers, fries, milkshakes, and a variety of breakfast items. One of the signature dishes was the Big Tea Burger, a hefty sandwich that drew in hungry customers. Tiny Nailers was also known for its all-day breakfast, with items like pancakes, eggs, and bacon available anytime. Tiny Nailers was famous for its unique dining experience. Patrons could park their cars, and car hops would take orders and deliver food on trays that were attached to car windows. This service model was a hit during the 60s, catering to the car-centric culture of Southern California. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating journeys through the past. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. We'd also love to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorite long-lost eateries? Share your memories and thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep savoring those delicious memories.